Printing barcodes with Microsoft Word has never been easier. Check out this video to learn more about the barcode add-in T-Barcode Office. It integrates seamlessly into Microsoft Word. You're able to print linear barcodes, postal codes, GS1 data bar, and 2D barcodes with just a few clicks. After T-Barcode Office is installed, start Microsoft Word. You'll notice a new add-in tab in the ribbon. Activate this tab to see the available options and open the T-Barcode panel by clicking on the icon. I position the panel for better readability. Inserting a barcode into a document is really easy. Just position the cursor in your document. Then select the barcode type. For this example, I'm using an EAN13 barcode. Enter the data to be used for the barcode. You can even use merge fields, but more on serial letters later on. And finally, select the required sizing mode. I'll go with the default setting, Fixed Module Width. The second possibility is to select Fit into Bounding Box. This will draw the barcode in the size of the bounding box. Click Insert Barcode. The barcode is displayed immediately. You can add as many barcodes as required. Next, I insert a QR code. As barcode data, I'm using a web address. If you click on the barcode, the values in the panel are updated immediately. You can adjust all parameters at any time. Use advanced settings to adjust additional parameters like bar width reduction or font and color settings. Copy to Clipboard copies the image of the currently selected barcode into the clipboard for further processing by other applications. Options is used to adjust advanced mail merging parameters. When finished, export or print the document. Expect perfect readable barcodes. But how to print a serial letter or mailing with barcodes? I start with a new document and activate the Mailings tab. A mailing is based on a so-called recipient list. In this case, I select a predefined one. This recipient list contains two merge fields, which I now insert into the document as plain text. One field is for the recipient name. The other is for the recipient number. And finally, I want to insert a barcode which contains these merge fields. Now I activate the T-Barcode panel. I move the T-Barcode Office panel so that you can see the complete panel. I'll use the selected QR code. Next, I enter the barcode data. It's possible to mix static data like prefixes with the merge fields from the recipient list. To insert the Merge Fields, I use the Insert Merge Field button. And then click Insert Barcode. That's all you need to do for a basic mailing. And now let's test the Mail Merge. To do so, I close the T-Barcode panel and switch back to Mailings. Then I click Finish and Merge to create the serial letter as a new document. Now let's look at the results. Here's the first record of the recipient list, the second one, and so on. The barcode always encodes the current merge field values. If you're satisfied, you can export or print your mailing. I hope this video was helpful, and I encourage you to check out T-Barcode Office Add-in for yourself. Thanks for watching.